everybody. I hope this finds you well. I just wanted to give you some information about your final project for the Fire and Emergency Services Administration course. That's um, 3101 for those of you that have multiple courses. Um, in this, one of the things I've tried to do for this course um, and in this class is to make it fair for everyone, uh, including those in the fire service, those outside the fire service, those in emergency services of some kind. Uh, and so in this project, what I've decided to do is, is partner you up. Um, we have five people in class, and we have two firefighters, one emergency manager, a law enforcement officer, and um, military. So what I would like to do is to ask uh, you to work in pairs. And I'm going to assign the pairs. And what you're going to do is to create a fire department. And I will post the instructions to um, the website, the course site. Uh, we're going to create a department for the town of Harmony. Uh, Harmony is not very harmonious right now. They had a volunteer fire department, and uh, the chief and his, the assistant chief were both fired for mishandling of funds, and so uh, the whole department was disbanded. And Greene County, where uh, the city of Harmony lives, um, has been covering the fire service, and they are willing to help fund the fire department full-time fire department with um, a number of paid people, divisions, et cetera, et cetera. And so your job is going to be to create an executive summary proposal uh, for the creation of that fire department. You're going to work in teams of two and uh, make that proposal. Uh, I've given you some demographic information about Harmony, uh, some information about the town itself, um, a little bit of background, you know, some guidance. There's going to be a lot of holes that you will need to fill in, and um, uh, I'm not going to be specific about what those things are. It's up to you to fill in some of those blanks. It's more about the process and showing that you understand the process and what goes into the making of an emergency services department. Now, we have an odd number of people, and I happen to know that one of our students, one of your classmates, um, could do this uh in his head, you know, with his eyes closed, has done it on many occasions. And so what I'm going to ask David Kimbrell to do is to be our county manager for the county of Greene County. And he is going to be um, deciding uh, which proposal to accept. And as such, he's going to have to write uh, a report um, why he chose the one that he did. Uh, I'm going to ask Philip and Adam to work together, and I'm going to ask Jimmy, or James, as y'all probably know him, his name is Jimmy Beck, and Ariel to work together. So that's Philip and Adam, and uh, that's Jimmy and Ariel, and that pairs a non-fire service person with a fire service person. Uh, I've tried to figure out other ways to do it. I've given this up. Actually, I've given this a lot of thought. But um, hopefully this is going to be a fair enough thing. Now, a lot of times I know with group work, um, somebody gets stuck doing all the work, please don't let that be the case. I don't care how you divide the work up, but everybody needs to do their fair share. That would be 50% uh, in a group of two. So you need to do your fair share of the work. How you communicate with each other is up to you. I will be glad uh, to share your school email um, if that's appropriate. If you want to meet via Skype, or um, any other type, you know, FaceTime, whatever you want to do, that's going to be between uh, the two of you as I'm not going to give out personal information. Uh, but I will give out the school email so that you can at least get started on this. Um, and then what will happen is I will set the due date, which I still have to do, which it'll be towards the end of the quarter, but we have to give our county manager a chance to do his report prior to the end of the semester. So, um, I will post these uh, instructions on the site. I expect you to come up with, um, of course, a vision statement, a mission statement, some goals for the department, an organizational structure for the department. Uh, and this will be based on the population of Harmony. And there are about, uh, Harmony Fire District has about 43,000 residents, and about 6,000 of those live within the city limits of Harmony. So. You're looking at 4,300 people that you are going to cover about 40 square miles. So they already have a station, one station. You may want to propose in your five-year plan that there be two stations. 
which is something else that we will want is some sort of strategic plan uh, for uh, down the road. You need to know how you're going to recruit your firefighters. Some of the volunteers uh, are will be allowed to come back, will be hired, and that will cut down on some of your training costs and expense. Um, the chief and the assistant chief, they're not allowed to come back. As a matter of fact, they have left town with the money. Uh, we need a budget that includes your salaries and uh, recurring expenses. Um, you're going to have a paid chief and a paid assistant chief. Um, the apparatus, any kind of purchasing strategies, um, whether it's a lease purchase or some kind of a five-year plan for purchasing. Again, you know, how you want to upgrade, that is totally up to you. You're going to assume that in addition to the equipment noted, that there is sufficient turnout gear, SCBAs, and other personal protective equipment for the number of firefighters that you are um, going to have. So you're not going to have to buy any uh, personal protective equipment. It's all up to date. It's good to go. Um, how you're going to get your employees trained? Because you are going to do fire, EMS, hazmat as well. Um, what kind of continuing education? Right? Maybe you require that they uh, already be certified before they come to work, which your volunteer base will be. Um, what sort of, you know, report, what kind of administrative practices are, are you going to need to have? What sort of reporting requirements um, and that sort of thing? How are you going to comply with applicable laws, uh, regulations, and that sort of thing? And then of that five-year kind of strategic overview of that five-year plan, I don't expect you to be down, you know, to detail about it because there's obviously, as I said, some information that's missing. But I estimate that your report should be about 10 to 14 pages in length. Uh, I would request that you format it um, APA format if you use outside references, which I assume that you will. You're welcome to use anything. Um, you know, there, I, and, and I'm going to do another short video soon about some of the resources that are available to you. Uh, for projects such as this or just answering questions, uh, whether they're at the National Bar Academy or through our library or something like that. But um, you can have charts, graphs, drawings, but I need plenty of narrative to explain those charts, graphs, and drawings. You know, it can't be 15 pages worth, worth of charts and graphs. So um, I think this is a pretty, a pretty good start. It's, it should be a challenge, but working together, um, I know sometimes in group work it's really hard. But um, with just the two of you in a group, I think it might be a little easier. If you have trouble with your group member, with your partner, let me know. And, and we can always um, um, spur them to action. Um, I, and like I say, I will get the due date on the website uh, within the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be out of the office Thursday and Friday of this week. And so um, I'm getting a little press for time. But I will get that done and so that you can gauge your um, uh, your your report so that it is uh, due in um, in proper time for the uh, county manager, David Kimbrell, to sufficiently do his work and uh, it won't be too much of a burden on him. So I appreciate David agreeing to do this. I think this is the fairest way of doing it, um, that we, we're pairing fire service and non-fire service. Uh, I think that David's uh, abilities too as a chief, uh, a former chief, um, will come into bear in this as well. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to post this video. I'm going to post the description of the City of Harmony uh, and the requirements for the paper on the website in just a minute. And I will try to update with uh, any kind of reference information that I find along the way. And then, like I say, probably next week, I'll post another video about some references and resources that are available to you uh, in this course and your other courses where you can find uh, information to help with projects such as these. So let me know if you have questions and good luck in your proposal for the Town of Harmony because the winner of the um, of the award is more likely going to be the fire chief and assistant chief in that uh, department. So you need a job. So this is why you want to win. Thanks so much. And we'll talk to you all soon.